Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, call Halal La, Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai, that's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai, all praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. This is going to be a lesson. Um, don't really have a title, but, you know, I was meditating from watching um, the apostle elder, uh, Apostle Rumlob, and he did a show earlier called The Roundup. And um, I saw a few and then finished the video. But I saw a, a couple of minutes of it And um, you know I was just meditating Upon a, a lesson I could do You know and um, What I was thinking of was 2nd Edges The 16th chapter Alright And um, we all know In this chapter The Lord speaks of prophecy That he gave unto Edris The vision And you know toward the end of the chapter it talks about, you know, a roundup, you know, where Esau is going to come, you know, sparing none. But um, I'm going to read into it a few, a few verses above it, a few verses above it, and um, and, and and hit that point. All right, this is Second Edges chapter 16. And 36 and 35 it says hear now these things and understand them ye servants of the Lord behold the word of the Lord receive it believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake behold the plagues draw nigh and are not slack you know what's not slack the plagues you know pertaining to what prophecy you know, when this thing hit and anarchy, you know, starts to happen and people get uncomfortable with how they living because of the harsh draconian laws that's going to be placed. All right. Like the force of the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, you're going to have to live a certain way. All right. So the Lord said, behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. All right. None of it is going to, you know, just breeze, breeze by as if it's easy to get get through. You know, these plagues that the Lord sent, you know, the tribulation, you know, the stress and anguish, the vexation of your spirit living in these troubled times, these perilous, uh, perilous times, you know, you're going to be bothered. You're going to be affected. OK, now you could choose whether, you know, you believe in this truth or not. That's your choice. All right, but guess what? Just because your unbelief, does your unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid, because the Lord's prophecies and his dreadful, terrible uh, 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 angels that he sent forth to do his work, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna destroy you, okay? And that when that time come, you know, since you despise this word and hated the prophets, hated the ones that the Lord sent, you're going to be in terrible trouble. And there's no one that's going to be able to help you. All right? You can't even help yourself. You know, the Amos talk about how, you know, you may run from a lion, you may get away from a bear, but then you lean your hand upon a wall and a serpent bites you. That's just proving that, you know, you can't get out of the hands of the Lord. You know, you can't run from the Lord and there's no place you can actually hide. All right. Ultimately, you're not getting away from judgment. The Lord said he preserveth the wicked for the day of judgment, just like he preserveth the righteous for the day of salvation. All right. So it says, verse 38, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth, as a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of, of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when a child coming forth, they slack not a moment. Exactly. Because when a woman is giving birth, you know, if you brothers have kids, you've been through that in the emergency room, you know, you're going through it, you're seeing your woman 
about to deliver a child, you know that you know the procedure of it. You know, I've done it, and um, it, it wasn't something. You know, it's a beautiful feeling because you're having a child being born and it's yours. You know it's yours. Well, you know. But guess what? She ain't having a good time. And when her contractions, you know, starts beating upon her, her stomach, you know, for that baby to come out, you know, it's, it's all war, you know. And guess what? You know, sometimes the contractions will stop. But the point is, when that baby is about to come, there's no holding back. There's no holding on. There's no telling the baby to stop. Let me get a catch a let me catch a breath. None of that, man. It's gonna come until it fully come through, and that's how the Lord prophecies are. All right, this is how His prophecies come to pass. You know, we just read that His plagues are not slack. So when the Lord start pouring out His dregs, uh, the, the the terrible, all right, power in which He possess upon the wicked, oh, it's gonna furnish. It's gonna finesse. Excuse me. I'm bad choice of words it's gonna it's gonna fully get through you know it's gonna fully pass through all right it's not gonna skip over and make it easy it's gonna fully pass through just like if you um you know you swallow um you know how they say like um you get poison stomach poison you know there's really nothing the doctor could do you know he could tell you take some over-the-counter medicine like pet on bismol to soothe the pain but in all reality, hey, it has to what? Pass through the through your bowel movement, your bowel movement. So you have to rest up, you gotta go to the bathroom, you know, you gotta you gotta suffer that pain. And that's the way the Lord's judgments are coming. Alright? So it says, which pains when a child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so, not the plague, it says, not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. You see that? On every side. That means that everywhere in the world is going to be turmoil, man. It's going to be tribulation. Okay? You know, Esau, he could do his roundup and gather the children of Israel, you know, the northern kingdom to the southern kingdom. But guess what? Most High got him in the trick bag. His day, hey, the Lord is rounding up you Edomites. The scriptures say his determination is to gather the nations. All right, and his determination is to gather you, you, you other, you other nations, you know, into the eastern part of the world, you know, for that great, that great war, you know, which is uh, Armageddon, the war that in all wars. All right, thermonuclear fire. Because them thermonuclear missiles are going to be shot off. Mm. Okay? So really, Esau, the Lord is rounding you up while you call yourself rounding the Israelites up. You know, ushering in your new world order. You know, he's going to force it. He's going to force it in because Revelation 12 and 12. It says, because what? He knoweth that he hath but a short time. It says what? The devil have come down upon you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. All right, so that's, you know, the roundup, man. I got to go back and finish watching the Elder Apostle Rumlob show because I don't know everything that he made mention of, you know, but, you know, so I just, the title alone captured my spirit, you know, to uh, meditate and want to do a show pertaining to his topic, you know, feeding off the Apostle's spirit that he had from the Most High, from Yahweh Shai. Because we, we sent here to do a job, man. And uh, that's basically it. You know, and the, that job is to do the works. You know, feed the elect. Said the laborers are few. So the laborers that do labor, they labor hard, man. And they labor to edify, to build the elect. All right. So anyway, jumping back, this is Second Edges chapter 16 and 39. Even so shall the plagues be slack to come. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. O oh, my people, hear, hear my word. Make you ready to the battle, and in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So you see that there's a great battle of test of faith that's coming. It's a battle, and it's a test of your faith, the ultimate final test, man. 
all right the, the last chapter the last level because why you at the you know you about to about to meet the boss <laughs> you know you about to meet the boss boss and that's your how about shimmy i was shy so this is the last level you know if you play the video game or any type of game they always get levels and when you get to that last level it's the hardest you know it's the very hardest because you what you you go you you you're fighting the boss you know in our case we're going to be fighting satan of this world all right which starts with spiritually you know mentally physically and guess what ultimately in order we, in order in order to win you got to have that faith in the lord man you know and the lord giving us that increase for the works that we have done because he said he's not forgetful of our works the lord is merciful man and that's the beautiful thing about it you know that's the beautiful thing of our lord one of let me say one of the beautiful things of the lord is that he showed compassion you know he shows us mercy because he's a power that's greater than us you know he thought us into existence there's nothing for the lord to um you know to, to just think of you know get you up out of here you know you wouldn't have a life if the lord didn't create you man if he didn't think of you you know that's why you can't hide that's why you can't do nothing without the lord knowing he thought of you and you became and you, and you exist and that's power man all praises to yahweh bashim yahweh shah man you know that's power man that is power you can't tell me that ain't power man that's power power out of this world man it's amazing man um let me just uh park up in this parking lot real quick mm -hmm. <clears throat> finish this lesson so bear with me Verse 40 again, O my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. It says, He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that loseth, that lose. It says, He that occupieth merchandise as he that have no profit by it, and he shall buildeth as he shall, as he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth as if he should not reap, so also he that planteth the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes. They that marry as they that shall not get children, excuse me, as uh, they that marry as they that shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers. And therefore they that labor, labor in vain. Exactly, because, you know, there is no doomsday prepping, okay? There is no, um, um, you know, finding yourself to be in good case in this day, all right? You know, you can't prepare yourself physically. You know, the only way that we can prepare ourselves is, uh, you know, in our hope and faith and believing in the Lord and with the knowledge and wisdom to be the stability, all right? Because this is truly a faith thing, you know? The Most High is going to bring his righteous spirit, you know, to, to, to the naked eye. Because right now you see the wicked spirits to the naked eye. You know, you can look at Satan in the face. You know, someone could be a demon right in front of you for no reason. You know, and, and guess what? That's Satan. You know, someone could just do whatever they want to you. and You don't even know the person. You know, straight up evil shit. You know, you see evil every day. That's Satan. You know, you see in homosexuals, transsexuals, that's Satan. But guess what? You don't rarely see, uh, besides the men of the Lord that's out there on the highways and byways, but you don't see the, from the naked eye the righteousness. And that's what you're going to see more and more because righteousness is taking over the wickedness, man. You know, there's going to be a transfer of powers. All right. So trying to prepare yourself physically for this day. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. That's why the Lord said, 
uh, he that loseth his life for my sake shall find his life. All right. So it's all about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because this is his movie. All right. So it says, uh, verse 45, and therefore they that labor, labor in vain. For strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods, overthrow their houses, and take their children captives. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. And they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, the more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, their own persons, the more will I be angry with them for their sin, saith the Lord. Like as a whore envious a right, uh, like as a whore envious a right honest and virtuous woman so the most high is angry with your with your so-called prosperity of this world the most high sent us here to serve out punishment he didn't send us here to take rest in this place this is not our salvation this is truly a captivity and boy oh boy we feel it every day for those that are of yahweh bashim yahweh shai we feel it we see it we go through it okay the Lord said, when you wake up to this knowledge, you receive more sorrows, man. You know, the more that you know your history and where you come from and who your power is and who you are as a people, oh, you 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 get miserable. You get bitter, man. Because then you learn, you know, of the Lord that you got to wait. You can't take things in your own hand. You know, you can't speed things up at your will. This is Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai's uh, movie. These are his words. We're playing upon his scriptures. And all we can do is play the part, you know, until the Lord finished the movie. You know, he create the scenes and we play the part. All right. It says, the more will I be angry with them for their sins, saith the Lord, like as a whore envious, a right, honest and virtuous woman. And the most see, that's one of the things the Lord hate is a, is a uh, you know, a, a, a wicked woman, a whorish woman envying a righteous woman. You know, that, that goes on uh, every day, all right? And I'm going to say, a, well, a virtuous woman, a woman with some decent uh, uh, discipline, you know, to her husband. A woman is quick to tell your wom tell another woman she should she should move on or she should get another guy. You know, these women are supposed to be teachers of good things. But anyway, it says, so shall righteousness hate iniquity when she decketh herself and shall curse her to her, her to her face, when he cometh that shall defend him, that diligently searcheth out every sin upon earth. And therefore be ye not like thereunto, nor the work thereof, for yet a little, and iniquity shall be taken away out of the earth, and righteousness shall reign among you. You see. Let not the sinner say that I have sinned. Let not the sinner say that. He have not sinned, for Yahweh shall burn coals of fire upon his head, which say before the Lord Yahweh and his glory, I have not sinned. Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men, their imaginations, their thoughts, and their hearts, which speck but the word, let the earth be made, and it was made, let the heaven be made, and it was created. And his word were the stars made, and he knoweth the number of them he searches the deep of the treasures thereof he have measured the sea and what it containeth he have shut the sea in the midst of the waters and with his word have he hanged the earth upon the waters he spreadeth out he spreadeth out the heavens like a vault upon the waters have he founded it in the deserts he have made springs of water and pools upon the tops of mountains that the floods might pour down from the high rocks to the water, the water, the earth. He made man and put his heart in the midst of the body and gave him breath, life and understanding. Yea, and the spirit of, of almighty Yahweh, which made all things and searcheth out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth. Surely he knoweth your inventions and what ye think in your hearts. Even them that sin and would hide their sin. Therefore have the Lord exactly searched out all your works. And he will put you all to shame. And when your sins be brought forth. Ye shall be ashamed before men. 
and your own sin shall be your accuser in that day. What will ye do, or how will ye hide your sins before Yahweh and his angels? Behold, the Most High himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. All right. And that's Esau, you know, because he's looking to round us up, man, you know, through his concentration camps. And as the apostle I saw in his video, like I said, I didn't see the whole video. I saw a few minutes, but I was so excited off the title, you know, that I jumped and jumped in this show. But even in the beginning of his video, he uh, made mention of all the con all those concentration camps, basically, you know. All those concentration camps being occupied, man. All these detentions, they want to call it. Detention holding places. You know, for what? Ishakar. You know? The so-called Mexicans. Crossing the border. All right? And they're being, what, mistreated? I wouldn't be surprised if they're getting raped. I wouldn't be surprised if they're being chipped. You know? The mark of the beast. But it says... For behold, a burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. So with this being said, the Lord is already telling us what's going to happen before it happened. You know, we know that you Edomites are out plotting upon the Lord's elect. We know that you're watching us secretly, you know, got paid agents, informants within the camp. We know what your plans are to do to us. All right? Because why? We're teaching the truth. We're talking of the Heavenly Father, man. We're speaking of a power that's over you. So it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they that shall take certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And main thing, one idol the main idol and one of the last prophecies is that mark of the beast, man. The RFID microchip, radio frequency identification chip, the implant. All right. That's one of the major prophecies because it's one of the last prophecies. And it's game changer. It's ball game. Okay. And they will feed you idol with things offered unto idols. Okay. And that's the chip. If you don't take that chip, you're gonna be deemed as a terrorist. You're gonna be you're gonna be uh, be demonized. You know they'll put you in a cell, detain you as long as they will, or they just put you to death. All right, these are the troubled times that's coming, the evil times, man. So we supposed to be prepared and having faith in the Lord, cause He's our power, man. And you people gonna realize that real soon. When the brothers receive spiritual powers, when you see men flying, when you see some the man, uh, one of the Lord's elect healing, you know you're gonna see it, and you're gonna witness it. But guess what? Two thirds, you was numbered to the sword, so you may see it, and then get put to death. You see? That's how scary this truth is. So. When we hear this truth now, you're supposed to, you know, walk ye in it, as the scriptures say. When you hear that word behind, you're supposed to walk ye in it. Scriptures say, make no tear and turn to the Lord. You don't want to be the one of the ones. You know, we all want to be the elect. So if you hear this word now, it's your duty to get yourself in order with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And not say to yourself and think the Lord don't know your thoughts that you're going to be one of the ones coming in at the end. Don't work that way, man. The Lord said in Proverbs, he has stretched out his arm and no man regarded. He have called, you know, but he have despised his word. So there you go. The Lord ain't no, uh, you know, mocking the Lord. Ain't no pushing over the Lord. The Lord, the Lord is tougher than we could ever be. All right. The most high is slick and crafty more than we could ever be. He knows your thoughts. I just read that. He knows your inventions, man. 
This truth is very important for your salvation, man. This is the only way you're going to see salvation. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Uh, but anyway, it says, um, And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and a reproach and trotten underfoot. So you consent unto these, um, this mark of the beast and take that chip. You can still be beaten down, man. You're still going to be persecuted. You're still going to uh, be locked up. All right. And basically destroyed. It says, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So we know that they would they, they looking to make a move on the Lord's on the Lord's elect. On those that who call themselves Hebrew Israelites. You see? And it's all because of the fact of this knowledge. You know, see Esau's kingdom getting cut short because of Yahweh Shah's blood, man. Because of the because of his name being published. You know, it's nothing they could do about this fire. This is the fire that's going to put out their fire. All right? Because who started your fire? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? So ain't really no time to be afraid, to fear, to feel down. We supposed to be rejoicing because our kingdom is next. All right? But you have to understand the times in which you're living in. All right? It says, um... And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and a reproach and trodden underfoot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So we know there's going to be men of the Lord that's, you know, going to put to death. You know, scriptures say being uh, witnesses for Yahweh Shai's sake. You know, so we understand that as well. Whatever what lot it is that the Lord gives us, and let me say, whatever script the Lord give us to play, that's our script. You know, signed, sealed, and delivered. Because each brother got his own lot. Each brother have a different measure of faith. Each brother, you know, most importantly, you know, has that righteous role, that role to play for the movie. And guess what? The righteous getting paid in the end. <laughs> but the wicked, you getting bamboozled <laughs> in the Lord's movie. You ain't getting paid. This is the end of your movie and end with the Lord's movie. All right? Because the kingdom is going to be beautiful, man. It's going to be like none other. It says, uh, there shall be like madmen sparing none, but spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses and cast them out of their houses. They shall, uh, they shall, then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. So this is the time we're going to know for sure who the Lord's elect. Hey, these devils come to your house <laughs> looking for you, can't find you. You get word that some men, Edomites, came in all black stopped at the house and they wanted to talk and the parent whoever told you friends whoever said yeah these dudes looking for you they like this about to you know lock you up hey you know right then and there that you one of the lord's elect man you know if you teaching this truth you know standing stiffly for the name of the lord and doing it to the end because we ain't doing anything wrong but just teaching the bible ain't none of us uh, striving to uh, break uh, to terrorize a building and kill people and do all that. We're not doing none of that, man. You devil's going to have to lie on us. We know the scriptures. We know what the Lord told us to do. He said, sit quietly, you know, wait upon me till I rise up to the prey. And that's what the Lord is doing. He said in 2 Thessalonians, he said, I will destroy with the spirit of my mouth and then the brightness of my coming. The spirit of the Lord's mouth is this word, is which, you know, we break down the gospel. All right. And then the brightness of his coming is what they want to stage as an alien invasion. But in all reality, <laughs> it's Yahweh Shai coming back, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. You see that? But they want to stage an alien invasion 
so they could have people so they could have the they could have us on Esau's side to save his kingdom for him. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It don't matter what you do, it's not gonna work. Anyway, uh let me finish this up. It says verse 73, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Here O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. And Esau wouldn't see that. That's another thing that brings him um, the excitement of. He wants to see, because it tells us that in Wisdom of Solomon. He wants to see, because he said uh, in Wisdom of Solomon that um, we claim that the Most High is our God. You know, basically, he wants to see if the Lord is going to come down and do what we said the scriptures said that he was going to do they want to see it but this is the thing about when you want to see it when it's actually happening you're going to wish it away because you're going to wish that we wasn't telling you the truth you're going to wish that we were out here lying and putting just you know doing whatever it is that man do this is not of man this is of the lord this is of the heavenly father all right You gonna wish that the Lord. <laughs> you gonna wish that the Lord, you know, didn't come down and save us. All right, because I know you're curious. You want to see that power on that right side. You curious, but that power on the right side ain't nothing to play with. All right, so go play with Satan, man. Go play with witchcraft like you've been doing. All right, you can't possess the right. You can't possess the righteousness. You only have left the, the wickedness. All right, the righteous can, 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 can master. Let's say this: the righteous, all right, is better than the wicked, because the wicked could only be wicked, but the righteous can master the wicked. I'm not saying that the righteous would turn wicked, but he understand wickedness. The wickedness don't understand righteousness at all, <laughs> but righteousness understand why wicked do what they do. So which one is better to be righteous or wicked? It's better to be righteous, man. All right. All well, praise to you. How about you? shot. It says, um, then shall they be known who are my chosen. They shall be tried as gold in the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved, say of the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I would deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh is your guide. The, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, say of the Lord, Yahweh. Let not the sins weigh, let not your sins weigh you down, let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns, and no man may travel through. It is left undressed, and it is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. Alright? So I hope this lesson was edifying. You know. Um like I said. I was inspired to meditate a little from watching the elders uh, apostle of Rumla blessing and I didn't watch I didn't finish watching it but you know we got to do our shows you know we all watch each other to also be motivated you know to figure out well, what what scriptures we can go into what prophecies we can speak of what uh, you know to edify to be in the spirit being in the spirit of the times man the times in which we're living in being prepared preparing the elect you know, the, the Lord don't miss a beat. The Lord do not miss a beat when it comes to his prophet, his prophets, excuse me. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.